Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to uh, New Year's uh, coverage of 2021. And I'm going to be talking about um, about um, how we will how we will uh, um, how things will get better by the time we reach 2021. Things will hopefully will be better, and I'm hoping uh, things do get better by time and and hopefully hoping that everything goes well in uh, in 2021. I hope the year gets way better in everything in life, um, in the future, in every way, right? Um, like I said, it's very important you guys take care of yourself during the time of the pandemic, during the time of this crisis, because uh, New Year's came now, but like I said, this is not end of the world. That means we're not done with everything yet, right? We still, uh, we still um, are of the... We still, we still have a long way to go before we go back to life normal and things to go the way it, uh, it was. So it will take way a long time, but we have to know that we have to be patient and this will take a lot of patience. It will take a lot of time for us to do that, but we have to do what's right and this will take a lot of time. Some people are in a hurry. Some people don't want to wear a mask right away. Some people just want to go right away and not bother wearing mask or do anything. And I'm saying that nobody wants to uh, deal with that right so people really need to just follow the health rules follow the health guidelines as much as you can and and do what's right at the end of the day because that's what really matters and that's what i expect everybody to do um not only my student man not only my friends but everybody else like really follow the health rules because we might go back maybe by march or even later maybe by the summer we might even go back uh to uh, life normal so we need to know that this will take can, can take months, it will take days, but we need we need uh, to, to 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 not um, hurry so much and worry because uh, there's still vaccines that need, need to be distributed and they need to still uh, they, yeah, a lot of people didn't get the vaccines yet and uh, like I said by March or even by April we might even have a lot of vaccines by then that are going to be distributed maybe a lot of people are going to get it by that time but until then we don't have vaccine that will be distributed so it's very important that we have to do what we can it's very important that we have to follow the health rules and follow the health guidelines as much as we can especially in the next couple, couple of months, in the next couple of days, in the next couple of weeks. We need to see some progress, right? And progress will happen if people follow the health rules and follow the health guidelines and do what's right at the end of the day uh, because things are not just going to happen in one night or two nights. Like this, is, this will take a lot of time and a lot of work. So we need to know that we need to make sure that we need to do what's right at the end of the day. And that's what I expect everybody to do at the end of the day. Um, so we're heading out into 2021. Uh, 2021 is supposed to be a good year for all of us, right? It's supposed to be a year, right? The start of 2021 is still, we have the pandemic, we have everything still the way it is, nothing changed yet. But as uh, months uh, passes and months uh, keep going, things should be getting better uh, by each month. And we should see some kind of progress by each month so January now just started. We'll see by end of January how things are going to be. And uh, like I said, by the time we reach by March or even by the summertime, by July or even August, we might see a sign of progress. We might see some, some kind of stuff happening. But this will take time. So we need to make sure that it doesn't matter what is it, but we need to follow the health rules, follow the health guidelines, listen, and, and do what's right. Because there's uh, people out there that don't want to follow the health rules and not follow the health guidelines, right? We got the, the vaccine now, and then there's people too that are going to be taking the vaccine, and there's people that are going to be taking the vaccine, and everybody's different here. Uh, but it's very important that we need to know, right? Oxford already they said it's going to be announced this week or next week. It's going to be coming. So we already have a third vaccine. It's going to be coming soon here to Canada also. And it's a British um British made vaccine that's going to be coming here, and then we still have Johnson Johnson. We still have, um, we still have uh, Saskatchewan. So, so we need to know that 
there's a lot of vaccines that are going to be coming and leaving and we need to know that that will happen and we need to be ready for it as much as we can and that's what it is these people are going to take it and this is not a punishment of the government is going to say everybody has to take the vaccine this is optional thing is your choice if you really want to take the vaccine and is your choice if you don't want to really take the vaccine because this vaccine is just optional for some people that are going to be taking it and some people are not going to be taking it so this is up to you at the end of the day if you want to take it or not, right? Some people are getting told it's not safe out there. I read a lot of reviews online in Google and everywhere, and there's reviews that say that the vaccine is not safe. And uh, they put things, especially in Pfizer or all any type of vaccine, they put stuff in it, and I don't know how safe it is. So it's very important that it doesn't matter what is it, uh, we have to make sure we protect our health and do what's right, right? I'm not going to tell people whether to take the vaccine. These people don't believe these kind of things and these people that believe those kind of things. And there's different kind of people here. So it's very important that it does not matter what is it, people need to do what's right. People need to follow the health rules. That's all I'm asking everybody to do because it's not that hard. Following the health rules and following the health guidelines, that's all it will take for us to get rid of this COVID and to go back to life normal. And that's all we need to do. We don't need to do anything else that we don't need to do. It's, it's that simple. And that's what, and that's what uh, needs to be done uh, in order for us to go back to the way life was and to enjoy the way it was and to, to, to do things that we used to do. And I know everybody wants to do that, but again, this will take time. And we need to, we need to follow the health rules. We need to follow the health guidelines. And that's what we need to do, right? And I was the start of the 2021. I know everybody expecting uh, in January things are going to get better, but people have to remember that uh, this is this is a year from the COVID when it started. It started last January, and look at us now. We are in January 2021, and this is a year from the COVID now. So that's what's really important that people need to understand. This will take time because this COVID, we had it. How many months we had this COVID? We had it from last January, and then the lockdown started in March. Let's not forget that. And then we went into lockdown. Things were crazy. Schools were shut. Businesses were shut. Everywhere was shut. And then things slowly opened with the restrictions. And now until now, we have still restrictions are occurring across Canada and in our province, right? And our restrictions for our world are going to be continuing until January 11th. So that's like in how many weeks left? It's not much, right? Um, that's like in... It's one more week left and then not this Monday coming, but the following Monday, I think the restrictions are gonna be lifted. So we don't have a lot of weeks left before restriction, but again, restrictions, again, doesn't mean uh, you can't go out much, you can't do much, right? For us to go back to life normal, it's gonna either be March or it's gonna be by the summer for sure. I don't think we're gonna reach by the spring, uh, by the fall, by fall, things should be already uh, good. Right, we might even have an election by that time. Right, people assuming also there's going to be an election coming this spring. There will not be an election coming this spring because this is not a good time now to have an election, especially when it comes to federal election. This is not really a good time, and I don't think our prime minister is willing to have an election during March. Either, either it's going to be in the summer, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, or it's going to be maybe in the fall of, of next year, right, of, of 2021, right, September 2021. Around there, we might have election by that time so people just need to know that there's not going to be election this spring even spring still too early right winter for sure there will not be an election so people need to know that that's the answer to your question uh, but it's very important that you follow the health rules you follow the health guidelines and this is a, a start of the year um, we have a vaccine now it's a good thing we got it before the year started and more is coming now but this is not over yet Right? We still have to continue to do what we were doing in 2020, continuing wearing the mask, continuing wearing, uh, following the health guidelines, continuing um, um, if you're sick and, 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 and you want to be tested, you get tested. And that's what it is, right? The vaccine's option. If you want to take the vaccine, you have vaccine, right? And uh, like I said, not everybody's getting the vaccine now, right? We're going to get maybe majority of people going to get the vaccine in March. So that's why I'm saying things might be getting better in March or even in the summer because 
people are not going to get a vaccine yet. Still, we have the healthcare workers. Until now, they're getting the vaccine. Um, we still have the seniors that are still getting the vaccine. So this will take already time, and this already takes time from, from that, right? But for other people to get the vaccine, it will take maybe, I don't know how many um, weeks or months it will take, but it will take, like I said, at least two months, three months before uh, even the government said that they plan to vaccinate everybody by March. And what they mean by that, because now they still have healthcare workers and health work workers are a lot from each province. And that will take a lot of time before we reach to the public and everybody gets it by time is March or April. So that's why I'm saying things might even get better by March or even things might even get better by July or even August, things should be getting way better by that time. But what we need to do in the meantime, before things go back to life normal, is do what we were doing in 2020. Wash our hands, make sure that we stay away from public, make sure we do all that, right? Because Corona is not over yet, right? It's close to almost over, but not close yet, right? This is the year things are gonna get better, but people have to be patient and they have to wait because people expecting things are gonna get better right away and they're not, right? This Corona came slowly, it's going to leave slowly. And we need to be, uh, know that we need to know, we need to know how to, how to be patient and how to wait because sometimes we need to want things, but we just have to wait and wait what will happen. So this is the kind of thing, the same thing. We just need to wait and see what will happen and how these things are going to be because things are not just going to get better like this if we just uh, don't don't have patience. And let's, let's say the governments, they open all the borders and they open everything. That tells you the government doesn't have patience here. But the government is trying to be patient. We have to be patient also, right? I know our premier is not taking any responsibility. He's not doing anything so far. It's not helping Canadians at all. And we can see that from the federal, uh, from the our uh, premier, stupid premier. And um, he's the worst now uh, in the rating, and everybody knows that, that he's, he's following the worst out of the whole country, especially for 2020. That's really bad. And mind you, we have two more years of this government ruling before they have their next election. And who knows what more damage he's going to be doing during the 2021 and 2022, because two years of damage already, one year or two years already, uh, you read the damage, right? We have now another two years of this premier. And really two years when he was running already, he read a lot of damage, right? And 2021, I don't know, but the economy, I don't know how, how well it will be. Um, he cut a lot of money during, during the time of the pandemic. We lost a lot of uh, jobs. Uh, we did all that. And then the pandemic came and made it worse for us. And now life is not that good anymore in Alberta because of this guy. He, did not, he didn't take any responsibility. He didn't help Albertans. He didn't do any uh, thing that he's supposed to do. So I'm advising people not to follow the government because the government is moving into the wrong direction and we need to do the right thing. So if people follow the government, you're just following the wrong direction and you follow the wrong path. And it doesn't matter what it ends, what happens. But following the rules is one of the things that's really important and really I expect people to do. And it's not hard to follow the rules or to follow the health, but to do what's right at the end of the day, that's what's really important. Oh, to make sure that everybody's healthy, to make sure everybody does what they can. That's all I'm asking people to do as much as you can, especially in a time of COVID. Um, it's really important that you do what you can at the end of the day. You, you, you make sure you do your best. And if people don't want to follow, that's their problem, right? Because there's consequence at the end. And with the vaccine, you can't take the vaccine if you have a corona or you have coronavirus. You cannot take the vaccine. The vaccine is only good for the for you if you do not have the COVID. But if you got the COVID, you do not take the vaccine. The vaccine won't help you. In that point, you then have to take a medicine. In that point. So just know that so if you, you got a COVID and you, you're, 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 gonna plan, you're planning to take the vaccine, I advise you not to take the vaccine because I don't know how safe the vaccine is and even public health are not 
Public Health of Canada are not advising you to take the, the vaccine if you had the coronavirus or if you have it. If you don't have it, then that's another story. But if you have it, then you should not take the, the vaccine because it's not going to be safe for you. It's not going to be good for you. And you don't want to go through that. So seriously, I want people to follow the health rules. Follow the health guidelines. Please listen to my advice because my advice it will help you. And I'm just saying the government will uh, um, open uh, its restrictions next Monday, not this Monday coming, but the following Monday. And even if those restrictions are open, I still advise people to follow the health rules, wear a mask, do what you can, right? Until this disease leaves, because this, this disease will take at least two, three months to leave. We're not end of this coronavirus. We need to follow the health rules and do what's right and take I take it seriously in every way. And that's what I advise people to do as much as they can because things are not just going to happen one night. This will take a couple of months. We need to know that. We need to know how important that is. And we need to take it really seriously in every way. And that's what I expect everybody to do as much as they can. I know it's hard. I know people don't want to, people want to go do whatever they want to do. But that's my advice for you for 2021. It's making sure that you continue following the health guidelines, you're following the health rules, following all what you can during the, the, the 2021 year, right? And I hope everybody uh, today is enjoying the, the New Year's. Um, I'm really happy that uh, we got a vaccine uh, for 2021, and that's a good start of 2021 that we have a vaccine, and that's a good sign means this year will be a year that will end this whole thing for us. But like I said, we're not going to see any progress in January or February. By March, April, this is where the progress will come. And I'm hoping by that time, things should be way better and things should be going back to our life. Right? And by the time the summer comes in, ways the COVID will die itself, won't exist anymore. So life should be going back to normal by that time. We should see some improvement by July. By July, I'm hoping, by July, maybe mask won't be mandatory anymore. We might not wear a mask. I'm thinking mask will not be a lot anymore by the time we reach July, especially the people who hate wearing masks. You guys will be really happy when July comes, right? Because this is the month that will be no mask wearing. But this, again, process, right? Again, this has to have patience. We have to be we're getting, we're getting closer to going back to life normal, but we have to have patience. That's what really important because I know there's people out there that don't have patience. And one of the important things you need, one of the important things of your character is supposed to have patience. Patience is one of the important things that everybody should have. So that's what I expect everybody to have. And that's what we're going to be moving on especially for 2021, a year that we want to start with, with improvement, things should be getting way better. And um, I wish everybody a happy new year in their school, in their classes, in their workplaces. I hope uh, 2021 becomes the best year for all, everyone, everybody, including my friends, Erica, Erica Cardinal, and everybody here. I, 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 I appreciate uh if you're watching this video, I hope you take lessons from this video and you take lessons for what I'm talking about because it's really important that you make sure you do your best to follow the health rules, to follow the health guidelines. And and everybody who's watching this video, I really advise you as much as you can, you do your best to follow the health guidelines, to follow the health rules, and to do what you need to do because it's what was, that's what's really important. And that's what we need to do to, to, to get rid of this COVID and to go back to life normal. And that's what I want everybody uh, to do as much as they can. If people don't want to follow, if people don't want to listen to me, that's, that's, that's fine, right? Everybody has their own opinion. But if you really want to get rid of this COVID, we all have to do this together for it to leave and for it to go back the way, for us to go back to life normal and things should go back the way it is. Um, but... Again, if people don't do what's right and they just do what they, they, they feel like at the end of the day, trust me, things are not gonna get better. Because if we want we want things better, we have to we have to show how much we care, how much we are interested. 
how much we want this to change, how much we want things to get way better. So that is my advice to everybody. That's my advice to every, everyone who's watching this video is to do that during the, the 2021 new year. You can either follow my advice or you can either not follow, follow my advice, but that's what I, that's what everybody should be doing. And that's the right thing to do because we can see already our provincial government is not taking any seriously in anything. And, and, um, we need to we need to we need to we need to know we need to know what's right and what's wrong. And the government's teaching us wrong things by not doing enough lockdown, by not caring enough doing lockdown, by not taking nothing seriously. And we can see this government in every way is failing. And we, we need to we need to wake up and know the reality and take this seriously and not take these things kind of things as a joke. Because as long as we take these things as a joke, it doesn't matter what is it, it's not gonna solve the problem. We want the problem to be solved. We have to do what's right. We need to follow the health rules. We need to follow the health guidelines and do what's right at the end of the day. And that's what I expect everybody to do. But if people choose to do it, that's 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 good. If people chose not to do it, that's their choice. Because this is advice. This video is just an advice for you. So it's what you follow and what you you want. That's what you choose at the end of the day, and that's what you make decisions on. Because there's no force here. There's no, I'm going to tell you, do this or do that or do whatever. Everybody uh, is in the boss of their own. Everybody decides on their own what, what they see themselves right. I'm not going to tell you what, what you need to do right or not. But in my perspective, I see that's the right thing to do. It's making sure until things get better, until the pandemic leaves, we need to continue what we were doing in 2020, whether we like it or not. I hate masks. I hate, not, I hate wearing masks. But I do it to protect my health. The government said, wear a mask, I will wear a mask, especially the federal government. And we need to do that. But if people chose not to wear a mask, not to do anything, the government is the one that's going to give you a ticket, it's going to give you anything. I, I myself hate wearing a mask. I really want to go back to life. It's blocking my, my, my breathing, it's blocking everything. It's not healthy even. What, what we breathe in the mask is pretty much we're breathing carbon, carbon dioxide, and that's not healthy. Because we're supposed to, uh, um, we're supposed to breathe oxygen and release carbon dioxide, and we are taking that in. And that's not healthy for our lungs. It's not healthy for our body, and it's not good for us. And everybody knows that, right? So that's why I'm saying that that's what we're breathing when we wear a mask. So that's why I hate wearing masks because it's affecting my breathing. It's not helping me at all in any way. So it's not something I would like to, to wear or like to enjoy to wear. It's, it's, it's terrible for me, it sucks for me to wear a mask that I can't breathe in, I can't, I, can't, I can't do anything. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying like, uh, it doesn't matter what, but people need to know that uh, mask wearing is, is, is really important when the, the government said so, you wear it, whether, whether you like it or not, because this is how you show how much you care about the people. If you don't wear it, you're just showing a very careless person who, who doesn't care, who doesn't care about people's health, who doesn't care about nothing. So that's what I'm saying. People just need to do the right thing at the end of the day. What I'm asking is not a lot. I'm just saying do that until the pandemic leaves. Once the pandemic leaves, you can do whatever you want after that. You can travel. You can do whatever. You can do whatever. These people that travel now at the time of COVID, that's unacceptable. Like the minister of Ontario yesterday that we here. Alberta's minister, she traveled. So think about all these things. I hope everybody have a great day and see you tomorrow.